What's up everyone, my name is Andrew Fong. Welcome back to another hands-on programming tutorial that helps you learn programming through building interesting projects like this one. So today I'm going to show you how you can build a React real-time animated ranking table, which will show the overtaking animations within the leaderboard. So the current example is that I'll be fetching data from a CoinGecko API, which will return us with real-time cryptocurrency data. And it will update the table based on the percentage change for the last 24 hours. So previously, I've created another video that pretty much has the same idea, but only with HTML. Um, on that video, courtesy to uh, my subscriber Bilal Razor, who, by the way, um, sorry if I butchered your name, um, has suggested me do a, another video with React as a tutorial with components and also showing the animations. As for the styling of this uh, table components, we'll be using the um, popular Tailwind CSS framework which will come along uh, with this instructions for inst installations with uh, Create React app. And for the animations, we'll be using the uh, Framer Motion, which is uh, actually a powerful uh, library for React animations. And we'll be using particularly the reorder um, functions to uh, reorder our table uh, based on the layout. As for the dynamic data source, we'll be using the CoinGecko API, just as the last video that I've done. I've also used the same endpoint to fetch data related to cryptocurrencies that are of the top 100 market cap. And this will return us with the JSON object, um, including the ID, name, current price, and all these attributes, and also the um, price change percentage 24 hours, which we'll be needing to uh, rank our table and reorder the layout. And we'll be also using the Tailwind table, this notebook in CoPen as a starting point for the uh, basic styling of this uh, table components. And we'll be focusing more on the animation instead of the styling. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm currently in a folder of a React Animated Ranking Table. You can go ahead and create your new uh, folder and generate a new uh, React app. So you can do that by going to the terminal and then doing npx create React app and then type in the name. So for you, uh, for my case, which which will be a React Animated Ranking Table, and for those who uh, uh, this command doesn't work for you, then you can go to uh, Create App, and then follow it by Latest, and that should hopefully work for every one of you. And after you have done that that would probably take like one to two minutes to create the new react app for you and then you can do npm start to start the server in localhost so meanwhile um we're waiting we can actually take a look at the documentations for installing tailwind css with react app so we have done uh, these two steps all right and we can now ins follow these two three four steps to um, actually install Tailwind CSS on your computer and on your react app so as you can see we have now the uh, boilerplate uh, hello world this is my first react app and by following the uh, installation of CSS, we can actually do like npm install uh, these two uh, command line, and that will generate to the Tailwind config.js and also post CSS config.js. So you can see they're generated here. And for the Tailwind uh, config.js, you can like put in the content here just to. Um, uh, remove all the uh, unnecessary styles and only use the Tailwind CSS. And inside index.css, 
which is the step th four, I believe. Yeah, f step four. Um, this will make sure that uh, everything, every seller will be using the Tailwind base components and also utilities functions. So uh, we have done this step npm run start, which is the same as npm start. So uh, we can start using Tailwind CSS in our projects. And we can actually go ahead and create a new Tailwind CSS table. So courtesy to uh, Superfly, uh, which created a new uh, nice looking and neat table with uh, Tailwind CSS, which we'll be basing our table on. The link for this uh, code pen project will be in the description, so no worries. And we can copy the HTML code and move on to our, let's tidy up this a bit and remove the diff inside the uh, React app.js and paste it in. So let's uh, tidy up the XML a bit and let's do tabs. We can rename the uh, table to be a uh, React Real Time Animated um, Ranking Table for like cryptocurrencies. So this project will be basing on the uh, price changes of cryptocurrencies to show you the uh, animations of like overtaking and repositioning in the table. So let's hit save and let's go on to the React app and you should immediately see the changes. So there are a few things for us to do. So um, that includes changing the headers to be the ones that we wanted like uh, cryptocurrencies, the price, um, um, volume, uh, price changes, etc. And for the status, we can change it to trends, which uh, signals that like the uh, red for uh, downward trend and uh, green for upward trend. And we can also change this uh, image to match the cryptocurrencies image. So we can do it now. Let's go ahead and change the uh, headers to be like first cryptocurrencies singular form and that would be price and then maybe market cap yeah market cap and also I have the uh, uh, github copilot uh, enabled which um, we won't be using mostly their help, but um, it will be a nice feature. And if you guys want me to make a video on how you can activate your um, GitHub Copilot, uh, please leave a comment down below. So let's move on. And the next one will be total volume. Okay, total volume. And we can copy this once more, which uh, this will be price change for 24 hours and let's do it one more time that will be the price uh, percentage change in 24 hours one more time for the uh, trend so price trend trend and for the gray area we will we'll be removing that and hit save. I think this will like look a bit uh, messy because uh, the uh, headers of the table and the body of the table doesn't match. Now we can simply create a demo row for our cryptocurrencies. So let's go to uh, table row and let's, let's just remove the uh, necessary ones. So uh, so these three are necessary. We delete it. And for the remaining one, that should remain only one. Yeah. So uh, and we also doesn't and we also don't need the uh, SVG icon for expanding. So we can remove the um, this column TD and 
hit save yep that should look better now and we can change molly sanders to be um, like bitcoin at first bitcoin and then this will be btc for the symbol and maybe like three three thirty thousand three thousand us dollar and this part uh, market cap we will be changing it to simply one uh, paragraph class and let's just give some uh, dummy data for it like and we can copy this for one two three three more times so one two three is it safe so we have a one nice looking column for this and for the paid we actually want to change this to be uh, upward trend so upward tr uptrend I mean, yeah upward trend hit save and yeah that looks a little bit better except the image which looks a bit ridiculous for now and yeah we can start fetching cryptocurrencies data from coin gecko api so um I've now entered the uh, same uh, API endpoint for CoinGecko to get the um, cryptocurrencies of top 100 uh, market cap. And also I've installed a Chrome extension for me to uh, view JSON in a parse manner. So for those who didn't ex install this extension, you can see the raw uh, JSON. And when we parse it, we can see the nice looking format for each um, cryptocurrency data and for each current cryptocurrencies we'll be using that image the current price and market cap um, those kind of informations and we'll be using this endpoint so let's copy this endpoint and go ahead to the top section we can actually um, close this first for viewing purposes and enhance it so um, let's go ahead and create a functions to fetch crypto data so let's do um, const uh, fetch crypto data and that will be an async function let's go ahead and disable the uh, copilot for now for teaching purposes so const data equals await so we'll be using the fetch library to fetch the URL so this endpoint it will be pointing to this endpoint and let's const do a, an API response and we also need to await for the response and we can then pass the data into JSON. Okay. So let's do, um, let's just print it out for now. Let's console log um, API response and see what we got. So let's hit save and go to our React app and click refresh. So we can then do inspect or command option I and go to console and now we see a, an error for uh, invalid DOM property. So we can ac we actually need to change the whole um, classes to be a class name instead of just class because this is uh, JSX. So we can do um, control find class and we can change everything to be class name instead. So let's hit replace all and hit save. We actually haven't triggered this functions fetch crypto data function 
um, whenever the React app loads. So whenever we want the uh, fetch crypto data to be triggered whenever this React app loads, we can first do uh, import use effect from React. Let's go ahead and define this use effect before um, we call the function. So let's do use effect, and then we'll take in the function, which um, we can do um, fetch crypto data. And then nothing to it. Let's hit save. And when we refresh, it will fetch us with uh, the same uh, results from the URL, this URL. So in React, we successfully got the uh, element array of like 100, yeah, 100 cryptocurrency data with their uh, ID, these kind of attributes, and the corresponding values. So it works. And let's go ahead and save this data to a variable or a constant. So let's do um, constant uh, crypto data. And the second, arg uh, second argument will be the functions that would set this uh, crypto data to update. So set crypto data and equals use uh, state. And let's initialize it to be empty as first. So we also will need to import use state uh, for this to register. So let's uh, move on to the next one, which is um, Whenever they do fetch crypto data, we want um, we want this function to set the crypto data to be the one that we just fetch. So we can do set uh, crypto data and then put in the uh, API response. So response and after we have fetched the crypto data, we also need to put in the crypto data here for this to work. So whenever the React app loads, it will fetch us the data from this endpoint and then put in the response into crypto data using this uh, set crypto data function. Hopefully it's clear. So let's hit save and refresh so no error for now cool now we can actually parse the crypto data in json format and um, add a row for each cryptocurrency so we can do that by first uh, crypto data dot map that will take in a crypto currency and arrow function which um, this will take in the table row inside so we can put it inside paste and cool so for each cryptocurrency um, this will use the image of let's go ahead and look at the data so for each uh, cryptocurrency there is an image tag, so we can do um, simply cryptocurrency. The image source will be cryptocurrency.image. And for the class name, it should be cryptocurrency dot, uh, should be name, yeah, name. And for BTC, it should be the cryptocurrency uh, that symbol so symbol and then following by the price market cap total volume price change 
price percentage change and also the um, price trend. So 24 hours and this should be a percentage instead of a dollar sign. So percentage and then it will indicate whether it is a an uptrend or a downtrend. So we can change this um, TD tag to be a conditional. So we can do a ternary. So um, cryptocurrency dot uh, let's the price change twenty four hours. If it's larger than zero, so if it is a uh, larger than zero which means an uptrend then we can actually give this the green tag for the uptrend okay so this part else we can give this the red trend so um, let's put it inside Bracket. Uh, we can change it to be uh, red instead. So red, and also this part. So this would be a downward trend. So let's hit save and see whether we got the data. So we can see most of the cryptocurrencies with the largest market cap are actually experiencing the downward trend, as shown here. Now we actually want to uh, sort the table based on the uh, price percentage 24 hours changes. So um, we take a look at the API response. The sorted data is based on the uh, market cap. So it is based on the market cap rank and Bitcoin obviously the top one and then Ethereum. So we can do a little bit of manipulation inside the fetch crypto data. Uh, instead of uh, simply returning the API response, we can do constant uh, sorted data equals um, API dot response. So uh, API response is an uh, JSON object. We can actually do sort um, by this comparison function, compare A and B, and arrow function. So uh, B dot price change uh, per uh, percentage 24 hours so minus A dot price change percentage 24 hours and instead of con console logging API response we can do sorted data and hit save and refresh now we can see that uh, most of the upper uh, table classes are all uh, in green. And another issue that we want to address before we do the uh, animation is that we want to fetch the data dynamically in real time. So when we take a look at the uh, table, it doesn't actually change the data because we just call the fetch crypto data once whenever this uh, React app is initialized. So we want to continuously, or for example, like five seconds, fetch uh, crypto data again and put it inside crypto data. So the whole table can refresh itself. So we can do that by defining a, a set interval. So inside use effect, we can do uh, constant uh, interval equals a set interval okay an empty function and then we can do fetch data crypto data and then we can also do console.log uh, table updated and for this part, we can actually comment this out because we don't want too much of uh, printing inside the console. And then inside set interval, we would like to specify how how often does the 
uh, interval runs so it should be like five um, seconds so five thousand millisecond and then after this we would like to cross this out and do return empty arrow function clear interval and put in the interval to reset everything so we can hit save and see if the data changes dynamically so let's refresh and go to comment option i we can see table updated once and let's see if it continues to update and yep so every five seconds it will update itself i believe the coin gecko api um, fetches or or like update its api like 30 seconds every 30 seconds so we are hopefully yep so we just see and seen change in flow so this table is updating the uh, data and also the values for cryptocurrencies but there isn't any like uh, animations uh, presented or a change in position inside this um, Tailwind CSS table so we can um, now move on to a framer motion to include a lot of uh, animations so to include the animation we need to first import um, import like reorder import reorder from uh, framer motion and I believe you also want to uh, install frame option here so maybe we can do control C and do npm install Framer motion. Um, I've already installed, so I can do restart the server. npm start, and inside this T body uh, table row. We actually want to change this to another thing, which is called a reorder item dot item. So we need to first import the reorder module from Frame Motion, as I did previously. And let's see if this if our terminal. Yep, it's working, and we have the Frame Motion. Uh, package installed so let's go back down to reorder item that will take in a key so this key will be the um, crypto dot price change percentage 24 hours and the value will also be the same thing which is crypto dot uh, crypto it should be cryptocurrency my bad so essentially the key and the values are actually the uh, unique identifiers for each cryptocurrencies uh, for it to work because of this uh, error we need to uh, have an unique key prop for each uh, table row and it, we all would also like to change this item s to be table row and let's find the closing tag of table row and change it to reorder the item we also need to actually define a reorder group for for the whole uh, reorder item to register so let's collapse this uh, t hat and we can do um, so reorder dot group um, each reorder item has to be 
in inside a reorder dot group for it to work. So inside reorder dot group, you can actually put in the entire table inside. So let's put in the table. And then inside the table, we we'll like to define the values will be equal to crypto data. So we have the variable crypto data. And every time we want to reorder, that will change the state of that will change the state of um, crypto data. It will be using this function, which is called um, remember here set crypto data. So every time we want to make changes to crypto data, we need to use set crypto data. So we can put this in and probably hit save and see if it works. So let's refresh. That should take some time for um, the frame to register, hopefully. So we now have the, uh, let's close this console. We ha now have the entire uh, ranking table for this currency. And let's see, let's go down to the percentage that is very close to each other. So we can see some changes. So I believe like this part should be, yep. So we just see, seen in um, animation changes. that's pretty much it for this tutorial hopefully you guys have learned something new about creating a real-time animation ranking table in react by using the framer motion package and especially the reorder functions which we can see a uh, overtaking animation whenever the um, price changes switches inside a table row and matching real-time data in from APIs by using the uh, use effect and also use state to update the crypto data and by calling the set interval to uh, make sure that the data is updated every every five seconds all of the related links used in this video will be in the description and also feel free to check out the project inside my github if you guys have any questions, doubts, or thoughts, please go ahead to the comment sections and comment down below. And if you want me to like cover more topics or you have some new video ideas, please also uh, like and subscribe the video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.